assalamu alaikum dear viewers and friends uh, we as a muslim strongly condemn the russian attacks on uh, peaceful nation of ukraine we strongly condemn the casualties of innocent civilians of ukrainian peoples by russian missiles bomb uh, supersonic missiles Uh, Russians army they have uh, invaded the uh, Russian territory and they have destroyed the infrastructure they have destroyed the hospitals school universities so as the part of human being we as a muslim strongly condemn this brutality and the killings of innocent civilians back to the uh, history in 1979 the soviet union Uh, they attacked and invaded on Afghanistan, and the whole Muslim Ummah at that at that time they condemned the Russian attacks on Afghanistan. So I want to express my feelings that we are very depressed when we see that the uh, Russian missiles and bombs are targeting on civilian people, on civilian buildings, infrastructures. hospitals school universities and colleges so we we are uh, as muslim we condemn it and being part of muslim community i want to say that i want to appeal from the uh, russian president vladimir putin to withdraw their armed forces from the ukrainian people and they have they have their right ukrainian people they have their right of their own freedoms and their their right to de decide what they should do and i appeal to the uh, such countries that have good relationship with the conflict conflicting countries such as turkey uh, pakistan or turkey we can say that they have afghan that have uh, relationship with both with vladimir putin the russia and ukraine they, that he should come forward to establish a peaceful resolution or uh, specially he should come forward to end the destructive war to stop the killings of innocent civilians casualties thousands of casualties on daily basis but at the same time i want to raise the uh, some questions on the uh, double standard of uh, nato usa americans and united kingdom britains that they as a result of invasion of russians against ukraine they have imposed sanctions and uh, over on the russians well then they do they do it for the humanity but i want to raise question why why americans britains and nato forces why they don't condemn the israel's invasions the invasion of israel the attacks of israel on innocent civilians of gaza and palestine israel have occupied the land of palestinian peoples illegally according to the un resolutions and israel army and israel troops they attacked on civilian people in gaza they destroyed their uh, civilian infrastructure they destroyed their hospitals even they attacked on the hospitals but why the USA NATO countries western countries british and britain's peoples why they don't show same behavior as they are now showing uh, in case of ukrainian people why they have double standards when civilians are killed when civilian innocent peoples are killed it's it is a crime according to the war crime and regardless of sect religions when any civilian people are killed by invader or by uh, by russian force by strong powers any civilian peoples are killed or, so or society are destroyed or peaceful infrastructure are disturbed then invaded persons whether they belong to uh, any sect whether they belong to any countries israelis indians they the western people they should condemn that their act similarly i want to again to raise the question back to the history in 2003 the 
when the USA and Britain and NATO they took British took took part in a coalition invasion against Iraq to overthrow Saddam governments in 2003 on false allegation of mass destruction. In 2003, Americans bypassing the United Nations Security Council, Americans with British and coalition forces, they attack on Iraq and they as a result of their fight between Iraqi forces and American coalition troops after one week, after one month they overthrew the Saddam governments and they destroyed the whole infrastructure of Iraq and in this war more than one lakh, one million people were killed by allied forces, by American forces who were responsible and they, they attacked the Iraq on the baseless allegation, baseless allegation, false allegation of mass destruction weapon that the Iraqi government are preparing mass destructive weapons and they found no, no, any, they did not found, did not find any type of mass destruction weapons in Iraq. But they destroyed the whole Muslim country Iraq and since two decades, 20 years, Americans, they divided the Iraq into sectarian groups, into Shia Sunni group and in some cases they promoted some sects, they promoted some groups, some militants for their own interest. And these western countries, they are responsible for disturbance and for civil war in Iraq and in Syria. So I want to raise question, okay, why they don't show why NATO don't show same behavior why the peoples of the nation of these countries they don't show the same behavior when their own countries invaded on weak Muslim countries like Iraq, Afghanistan no they are showing their strong condemnation against Russia in Ukraine we as a Muslim condemn the casualties and uh, condemn the attacks on civilians by Russian armies. But these are the my questions from the NATO and Western countries. Similarly, my last question is, why they don't condemn Indian aggression in Indian occupied Kashmir where more than 80,000, approximately 1 million Muslim civilians are killed by Indian armed force in Indian occupied Kashmir. Since 50 years, why they don't try to resolve the Kashmir issue or according to UN or United Nations Security Council resolutions? Why they have their double standard? Why they are dual face, double standard when they are dealing with Muslims or when they are dealing with any other nation? So I want to realize you that to realize the pain of killing of innocent civilian peoples, civilians, children, men, women by the bombardment of any invaded country, by the bombardment of now you are seeing the scenario in Ukraine Ukraine cities they are completely destroyed by US army, uh, Russian army attack same destruction same destruction we have faced, we have seen in Iraq in 2003. Same level of destruction we have seen in Palestine when Israeli jet uh, uh, fighter planes and when Israeli missiles are hit, are launched on the uh, innocent civilian peoples. And same uh, destructions we have seen in Indian occupied Kashmir when Indian armed forces, they, they have killed more than 80,000 innocent civilian in Indian occupied Kashmir. But the international world community, they don't realize these things. So they should analysis uh, their, uh, their self and they should answer these, these questions related to their double standard, related to their double standard behavior. See? And at the end, I again uh, want to appeal the, those countries that have strong relationship 
with both conflicting countries like Russians and Ukrainians, uh, such as President Tayyip, uh, Tayyip Erdogan of Turkey president, that he should come forward to bring peace uh, to end to end the destructive war that have destroyed the whole civilian infrastructure that have destroyed the Ukrainian people badly and he should work and he should move forward to bring the peace and harmony in Ukraine and similarly and similarly uh, I also feel with the uh, Pakistani government officials they they should move forward with the Turk, Turk governments and they should try their efforts to stop the war in Ukraine's being being a part of human beings being a part of uh, Muslims community I have expressed my history thank you Allah Hafiz